What's up, guys? My name's Sean. If you landed here, you're watching Scar My Guitar. But baby, don't you touch my scarred guitar. Now the van's not ready, and it's going to be several weeks before it is. Hey, it might not be ready yet, but it's sure getting there. Just give it a minute. But after you see this video I got, you're going to agree with me that I need to go ahead and go scar this guy's guitar, man. This is by far the crappiest guitar kit I've ever seen. You can just see the frustration all over this guy's face. His name's JT Wild. Check out his video. Hey, everybody. This is JT Wild. It's always been my dream to build my own guitar, so I bought a DIY guitar, and uh, well, let's just say that it's maybe destroy it yourself <laughs> DIY, because I hacked this thing, and this is what I ended up with, you guys. <laughs> and as you know, they send these with paddle headstocks. I, I didn't know what to do on the headstock, and I ain't got no soles. This is horrible, so. It needs a headstock bad. This is the worst guitar on the planet. It's got horrible action. It's got a huge space between the neck and the body. I had an idea to put my tattoo on it. This is a challenge beyond challenge. I love what you do. So, Sean, will you please Scar my guitar. Whoa, that thing's horrible, ain't it? So check it out. Let's pack the car up. Let's go scar this guy's guitar. Now the first thing we gonna need is the Xbox because it freaking rocks. Excuse me, there will be no Xboxing. Man, she's a buzzkill. So we're gonna need some fret sawing saws. We'll take two. Always good to have a fret hammer. A pair of nines never hurt nobody. A couple of good fret files. Fret erasers, fret leveler. We'll take a 12 inch radius block and a 20 inch and a fret leveling bar. Take some solder, soldering gun, small wire snippers, miscellaneous small drill bits. Oh, and just so you know, this video is proudly sponsored by Bonafide Pickups. Hand wound scar bucket right there. That's Al Nico 2. It's ringing in at about 12 8. And neck in the middle. And of course, the covers. Might as well hook him up with a pearl pick art. JT doesn't ever use the Tremelo, so we're going to hard tell that guy. We're going to go string through the body, and I'm going to show you how to do it with some Bondo. We're going to need black strap buttons. We'll throw in some really cool skull knobs. We're only going to need two, though. Now, I've already got this pre-wired. I might as well go and stick it in the pick art before we leave. But we're only going to do one volume and one tone. And it's going to have the push-pull on the tone to split the scar bucker. It's going to be cool. That's going to do it for this. Let's go load the rest of the stuff in the car. Now, I'm surely going to need this table. Tuck a few clamps over there. Now, I might not need this guy, but let's take it. Now, I don't think we need a router either, but let's take it. He said he ain't got no saws, but I do. And we're going to hard tell that guy, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's go scar this guy's guitar. We got a long way to go. He lives in Largo, and I'm in Orlando. But, there's that. Let's do it. <laughs> Now look, we're about halfway there. 
and I'm getting hungry, so I'm gonna stop and get some food, man. Now, I don't know what you guys' favorite hamburger is. Mine's Dave's Devil. Now, it may look small in my hands, but trust me, it's a Dave's Devil. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I don't care, I just wipe it with the bag. That's how we do it where I'm from. Oh, you didn't think I brought that? What, you thought I was going to get a Coke out of the Wendy's, didn't you? <laughs> no. And then I got this to pee in. <laughs> Not really. All right, we're going over the Howard Franklin Bridge. It's pretty awesome, man. I stick the camera out the window and look at the water a little better. <laughs> but I'm stupid, I'd probably drop it. You guys ready, man? Let's do this. Maintenance. What's up, dude? Sean, dude. Sean, yeah. dude, what the, <laughs> man, I watch all your videos, bro. Thanks, Holy man. crap, you picked me? Yeah, it picks bro. The ugliest guitar in the world? Ugliest guitar oh in the world. Oh my God. Man, I swear, it's an honor, so brother. they home. <laughs> yeah, I know, I, I'm a musician, I work at night, so you picked a perfect time, dude. Ready? This is like Christmas morning, bro. So where's the guitar? Dude, you sure you wanna see it? <laughs> it's right in I here, I grab over here for nothing. Oh. Oh man, it's bad. It's worse in person. Dude, what were you thinking doing this right here? Uh, yeah, that's supposed to be my tattoo. Oh, I see what you're doing there. It is your tattoo, ain't it? <coughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. What is this, man? Yeah, I thought it would come out with a cut up headstock, but they didn't. It was a paddle, as they call it. So, um, I'm, uh,. Yeah, I'm uh, at a loss. <laughs> My, are you ready to fix it? I'm ready to fix it, man. I don't. You think you can? <laughs> Most guard up, man. This thing's a total mess. It's way worse than I thought. It's got some kind of weird dip going on right here that brings the strings real high on it. The headstock he dribbled into it really deep, so we're gonna have to fill that. Now we ran JT off. He's inside. Me and Kathy's out here on this back deck. He has no idea what I'm doing. Let's do it. I was just holding you tight Getting drunk off the stars in your eyes Had me thinking about the rest of my life I didn't want to let you go Little baby, all that I know is I want to be the one that holds you
So if you remember, I put a router in the car and said I probably wasn't going to need it. Guess what? I needed it. Well, guess what I forgot? The bits. Guess where I just got back from? Home Depot. Let's get back to work. All right, look guys, we're gonna to try to get the fender headstock shape or something similar without actually having a fender headstock shape to go from. So I'm just gonna use this cup right here. <laughs> okay. Mark it like that. Go like that with it. Now that I got that circle there, I'm just gonna go like this. Now see, most people make a mistake of curving it back this way. It doesn't actually do that, it goes like this. Kind of curves inward. And probably even a little more than that. Gonna be what I want to do right there. That'll be my actual cut line, the dark one. Stretch edge. That's all we care about. I don't know why, but one of our pickup covers is off color. Still looks good to me. Let's, let's peel the plastic off. Actually, you think it's slick, huh? You got that sandpaper taped to your hand? I sure do. <laughs> Ain't got to close my hand. Look at that. It's heinously horrific. <laughs> All right, we're officially at the gandering stage. Now, we ain't let JT see it yet. He's been inside behind that closed door right there. I've been out here sweating my nuts off all day. Well, we're finna go jam. Wow, check out the old Epiphone he's got there. It's got an ever-tuned bridge on it. It's pretty sweet. Where'd you get that from, bro? Man, I found this on uh, the used used guitar center about four years ago when I was in Blackfoot and it's the Karina body all Karina neck through I paid 400 bucks for it something like that really and then um, uh, Tim in the band Blackfoot he's sponsored by Evertune so he got me a good deal on that and I thought well 
Man, these things are actually, once you get used to them, I, you, they're really awesome. And uh, so I uh, I went ahead and got the gold Evertune put on it, and it's a it's a scream machine, man. It's sure looks it's, sweet. It's a really badass guitar, man. I mean, they're hard to get used to playing, but once you do, they're great feeling guitars. And uh, I, I just saw that, I mean, the price of this bottle, this body went up unbelievable amount lately because i mean in it i was surprised the ch the price of it at the time i mean if this was a gibson it'd be worth twenty thirty thousand dollars man not with that new bridge on it it wouldn't no I, no <laughs> I no screwed that well i did i did the only reason i did that is because it was an epiphone but now i actually am going well crap you know i probably shouldn't have done it but hey i'm never getting rid of it it's my guitar you know there you go this is my scar blam bona fide pickups it's got the push pull. Now JT had those chrome knobs. He insisted on putting them on there. But boy, that fretboard cleaned up sweet, didn't it? Look at that thing. Headstock don't look too bad either, huh? And now for the moment of truth, Mr. JT Wild himself. I'm gonna hand you the guitar now, bro. You ready? Yeah. Open your eyes up and grab it. Whoa, okay, cool, brother. Whoa. Wow, bro, that is totally a freaking new guitar. That's the same guitar. Oh my god. No, it ain't. <laughs> it is, I promise. Oh my goodness, man. This came out amazing, bro. Yeah. Thank you, brother, for coming over here, driving all this way and putting this together, man. It's it was very kind of you, and I'm I just I love what you're doing, and I really am glad to be a part of the storyline of your awesome uh, web, your awesome uh, YouTube channel, brother. It's thank you, man. That's awesome, man. I just hope that you enjoy the guitar now that it's not a, a hopeless cause anymore. Yeah, you know. I'm, you told me to trust you, and I know why now, man, because this this neck plays so good. And it's really not a great neck, but the way it was put together, and and I'm, I'm, I'm loving it, man. I'm loving it. I appreciate it, man. Beautiful. We're going to get going. Okay, man. Well, you guys be safe, and I can finally say it. Don't you touch my scarred guitar. Dude, it's like every time I hear you talk, bro, it's like like I'm in the middle of a Scar My Guitar video or something. Bro, it's so weird. Oh, look, look, you are in the middle of a Scar My oh, Guitar geez. video. Oh, my gosh. I am, bro. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs>